So the assembly is now live and we have completely yanked up our schedule. So we're doing like a workshop every week. So that's like 50 workshops a year. And these workshops are usually on subjects like, for example, microcontrollers, subjects like robotics, 3D printing, and other exponential technologies, telling people how to, for example, use smart technologies in building their solutions. One of the major things why we created the assembly was to actually bring two things in front of the younger generation of this country, which is, first of all, you can do it. You can build things which look completely impossible to do because people were very caught on only on software. You know, innovation is happening across. So if you look around, you know, innovation is happening with things, with devices. Also, the second thing which we wanted to highlight was innovation has become local. In the sense, people in the community could actually build something to solve their own problem. So we also realized that people came up with their own ideas. So we, you know, used the principle of stimulation and not satiation. In the sense, we actually stimulated them, got them a bit, and then they came up with a solution on their own. So what we see is a lot of community interaction responds to challenges in these kind of things. Come. So the whole thing is actually to bring the people and the technology together. And that is the biggest challenge. So what we want to do is to actually make as much noise as possible to get more and more people interested and out there to try and do things. So we are also doing things like we're doing our workshops on Saturdays, for example, so that people can actually come out or, or not be kind of upset their daily schedules because most of the people who come to our workshops are either students or people who are gainfully employed somewhere. One of the things that I would actually tell the entrepreneurs is look outside the box of what you read on the web. You know, there are ideas and things which you could do for your own community, so start thinking of that. Uh, another tip that I would do is that making things, doing things is easier than they think. So if you spend a bit of time, you know, you would actually be able to build and make with your own hands. And the third and most important tip I'll give you is that there are a lot of resources available which actually can help you in this. Even in uh, you know, places you don't think there are any resources, there are people and resources who will be able to help you.